been obviously an eventful 24 hours. Uh, what was your reaction when you heard the news about the investigation surrounding John Ted? Um, I was just praying for him. Um, obviously, you don't want to see somebody go through something like that. Um, but other than that, I mean, I don't know what's going on, so um, I, don't, I don't want to comment too much because I don't know what's going on. Have you reached out to him at all? Are you allowed to? I have not. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm sure. I'm sure I'm allowed to reach out to him. Um, I've seen him after the game. One of the games I've seen him, but uh, I, I'm not going to talk to him anything about that. Yeah. Have you ever been approached even by friends asking, do you know, if someone's -so playing? Is uh, any kind of sort of. No, all my people know not to hit me up about stuff like that. Even if they do, like I'll, I wouldn't, I won't answer. Um, I won't say anything. So, um, not, not too much. No. The, uh, do you have to kind of tell someone? Say, listen, this is, I can't do this. this no, me. everybody knows I can't do it. I mean, I mean, everybody knows the, the rules. People around me know the rules, so they know I'm, I, I'm not for any of it. Have you seen interactions with fans change as gambling becomes more popular these days? Over the past years. Definitely on social media. Um, that's what all everyone's DMs after games is about. Um, but I mean, it is what it is. It comes with the game. What's that like for you? Very easy. I don't really care. <laughs> Bruce, I mean, this has obviously been a crazy season for this team. You've only been here for half of it, but yep. even in that time with all the on court stuff, off the court stuff, how challenging has it been to keep the focus on basketball and how, as a team, do you guys get through stuff like that? I think it's been easy. I mean, obviously, half this stuff you can't control, right? RJ situation, quick situation, like you can't control those things. Um, so the guys who are here, um, we just focus on what we can control, and that's hooping. We have games that we need to try to win. Um, so that's our main focus. Just what was your reaction when you heard uh, the news about John Day? I mean, we don't really know anything that's going on, so I mean, it's hard, hard to comment on that. You guys probably know more than us, which is how these things usually work. Uh, yeah, I mean, just a reiteration of policies and rules, and regulations for the NBA teams, etc. But um, nothing outside of that at the moment. Nah, I mean, not outside of my mom who's worried for my health. <laughs> or? <laughs> yeah. No. And, and, and when you have, in this case, where you know, the allegation is that they basically performed under his level, mm -hmm. uh, it can seem you know, to potentially hurting the team's prospects. And how does how do competitors look at that? I mean, we don't we don't know the story yet, so it's hard to say anything. Um, you know, I, I I go out, give it my all, the best of my abilities every single night for myself, the organization, the team, my city, and my country. Um, plain and simple. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I can comment on is my I do myself. Um, but yeah. Have you noticed uh, interactions with fans have changed in the past few years as gambling has become? More yeah, not as much with fans, uh, like face to face, more like online. People are always just like, you screwed up my parlay, you couldn't get three rebounds, you couldn't, whatever they say. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure, online a lot. Face to face, not really. You see a lot in this league, obviously, in your years, and you haven't even been here all season, but there's a lot that's happened in the last few months on the court, off the court. And mm -hmm experienced anything like this and how kind of challenging has it been to keep the focus on basketball when there's been so many Yeah, times? Yeah, I mean, it's been really tough. I mean, it's been a gauntlet of injuries, you know, off the court stuff, um, you know, just, you know, hard hitting stuff. Um, you know, it's something that you literally cannot prepare for. Um, and so, I mean, it's it's tough to, to handle as, as players, staff, organization, in preparation. Um, but I think it's one of those things like, you know, you know, all in all, it probably makes you stronger and makes you come together as a, as a unit and team more. And, you know, that's the kind of the way you have to use it is um, 
you know, keep fueling yourselves and keep getting better. And a lot of guys are getting opportunities here that they may not have gotten. Um, and I hope that they're, you know, seizing those opportunities and taking them, taking advantage of them to the best of their abilities. And you know, hopefully it can parlay into something for them that maybe they wouldn't have other got the opportunity to do. So, um, yeah, I think. I think it's it's tough. It's really tough, but um, there's always a silver lining, and you got to look at the positives in, in everything and, and the opportunities that arise. Have you talked to Andre since this week? I have not. Um, no, I mean he's been away from the team. Darko, you, you were sort of asked about this before the game, and that was before the news of Jante's investigation came out. But as a leader of this team, a very young team, so much going on on and off the court this year. How, how challenging has it been to navigate some of these things while keeping in, um, well, as, as, as I said last, yesterday, you don't invite, you don't want those things to happen, but they, 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 they happen. And uh, for me, as a leader of this team, uh, is uh, to try to help the team and organization, everybody to handle it in, in the right way and to keep our mind on the right things. And uh, that's always for us, uh, keeping our mind and focus on basketball and, uh, you know, to do what, what we do best and uh, to, to help our team. Uh, I do not know. Has the NBA reached out to you or to the best of your knowledge any of the players as part of the investigation? Uh, nobody reached out to me and as, as far as I know they did not reach out to players. No comments on that. No comments on that, yeah. I cannot comment. The investigation is ongoing and so all of those questions, they got to go straight to, to, to the league and they will be the best equipped to answer those questions. You, uh, you have a conversation with the rest of the guys here? Something like this? Uh, we just acknowledge what, what happened and uh, that we need to keep our focus on basketball and what's next for us. You guys shared an update that Emmanuel and RJ are conditioning to get back. Did they work out today? Any update on that moving forward? Uh, they, uh, they, Today was their first uh, team practice uh, for them to, to get incorporated and we're, we're going to go day by day with them just to, to see how they're going to react to, to workloads, uh, to play groups and all of that. Any possibility that I'm sure maybe they'd want to play against their old team tomorrow night? Is that a um, possibility? Possibility, yes, but we'll see how realistic it's going to be. Oh, I saw Yak in a Raptors t-shirt there. Is he doing anything? Uh, Yak is uh, is doing quite a bit on the court, uh, you know, in the process of reconditioning and a lot of uh, skill work with his uh, right hand and stuff that we can, you know, ball handling, passing, all the stuff that he's allowed and, and capable to do at this point. But not clear for... No, not, not clear for any contact or, you know, and still he cannot use his left hand, yes. Is Scotty doing any kind of off court work at all? Or... Same thing, they're in the same, uh, actually they're... Uh, you know, working out together and they're really doing like right hand uh, passing and, uh, you know, skill work that they can do with right hand. Thanks for watching the Toronto Raptors YouTube channel. Check out our latest video and subscribe for more.